Hey everybody, it's me, Brian Also, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, we were talking about the festival. We went to, um, to go get the supplies and stuff, and, uh, we read the poems to everybody. And now we're gonna be making our third poem, I believe. And now I know that this affects, like, which character you're gonna get. I don't, I don't know what it means, but I kinda do. Like, because each one has, like, their person. I think if I put Adventure, it might be Nasuki, I think. No, no, that was, um, Saori. Okay, so. So choosing which one really matters in this game. So, um, I'm just going to choose what I like, mostly. Alright, I'll put Fun. Cause of Dude, it's always playing Saori. Um... I don't know which which I prefer this one. All right, this one I'm just gonna go random. I'm just gonna close my eyes and choose which one it's close to. It's close to this one. Okay. Summer heartbeat play. I do like summer, but it's gets let's put friends. I like friends. Disaster rose. I'm not I'm not gonna look at the characters on the bottom left though. Imagination. We'll do imagination. Warm sugar awesome marriage. We'll put, um, awesome. Forgive, headphones explode, climax, treasure, excitement, boom, or boop. Mm. Excitement. Dude, I'm always, <laughs> I'm always shooting somebody. Come on. Uh, would this, who would this be? Okay, that was, um, Nasuki. Uh, dance. I'm gonna put color. Saudi again. <laughs> lucky. I'm gonna put lucky. Okay. I'm gonna put Doki Doki because that's the game. What does Doki Doki actually mean? I forgot what it meant. If you guys can tell me in the comment section below, I'll appreciate that. I don't because I don't know what it means. Anime, of course, gotta pick that one. And joy. Um, horror, I do like horror. Grief, no, anger. Time? I don't know. I'll put, I'll put time. I'm gonna pick games, because I, I do I really like games. Extraordinary, we'll put extraordinary. Um, amazing. Laugh. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking a piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that... That the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. <laughs> I can't wait for the festival. That's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Nasuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Saudi all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried shrimp? Or squid? Why do I say shrimp? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Huh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Monica, or Monica, I don't know. Monica, <laughs> eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Oh, that's why. Also, that joke makes no sense in trans translation. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions are as funny as your answers anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sarity anyway? Oh, there you are. Sorry is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. 
I walk over to her. Hey, sorry. I wear my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Huh? <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You, you can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sarody shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone else. Well, alright, if you say so. I worry glance at Sarody before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone's back the usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sarody recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, that must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Renasso, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Saori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading in into it a little too much, but she seems a little downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sarody, who is usually dragging her rubber racer up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind, but I am surprised I'm not the one asking you, Bernasso. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she never really she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Baranasso. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks about you more than anyone, than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sardi is always like that. She always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Brianna. So, have you thought that maybe you always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, you know. So you... <laughs> so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. <sighs> Alright. Monica smiles mean meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it. But I already know... I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Saturday is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sari and gently talk to her, but she she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it, it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I could do besides wait for Monica. Okay everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we all share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sarori.
Maybe I should do Sayori first because I kind of I don't know what's going on. This is your best one so far. It's really really nice right now. So <laughs> thanks. Mhm. Mm Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Uh, uh, of of course, everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Brianaso, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does, or even Asuki. But in the end, yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with anyone else? Everyone else? Wait. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I know to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes I feel like you're the only one exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it is easier to write that write when thinking about you, Saori. No. Right now so I, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sorry has trouble keeping her voice steadily all of a sudden. If you have fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Saori I glance around and make sure that nobody has noticed. Sahari, I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sahari shakes her head. She snuffs and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and put up a smile. It's nothing, Brian Asu. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't, it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say any anything else, Sorry cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. What Okay. Um I'll do Nasuki. This one's alright, alright, well yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're tr that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm trying, at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyways? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh, no, no, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in the club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun hanging out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gah. Asuki elbow contacts with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just wash my mouth around Nasuki. Anyway, Nasuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever even happened. <clears throat> I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears. That diminished your wonders of the years. But today I have a special place. A beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles within brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand beneath in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. 
let's leave your memories in a footprint trail set you free in my windy sail and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine I'll be the beach that washes your worries away I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago but if you let me be your side your own beach your own escape you you'll learn to love yourself again I, this is actually pretty good I actually liked it it was good I liked it a lot yeah <laughs> I felt like I was I kept writing about negative things so I wanted to write something with a nice message message for once. It, it was a nice message. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with that message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and, us, and have us both write about it or whatever. Uh... You can't really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic than trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was very good practice. Alright, we got Yuri and Monica. I'm gonna do it in order. I don't think that really matters actually now. Well done, Brian Asso. You definitely improved your writing well over the over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our a writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at, awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone else or everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself? Well, have you learned anything about yourself right now, so? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very professional way to get in touch with yourself. In the, end, in the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's more important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always so sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share is that so Yuri thinks for a good minute that must be trouble eh? for me to become someone whose opinion is fearsome how unlikable on me Yuri it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head I just meant that I respect your opinion I see I'm sorry that I always I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked? Yuri? Wh what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay, here. A more millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth cha chaotically meets the, s the sun face, under a clean blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray, rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? or? Will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the, where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into it, the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tend 
drills turn back and I abandon my piece to a road at the shore drift forward and I return to earth forevermore so she, yeah she also wrote about the sand but instead of like a love story she ta actually talked about the sand and like how she feels about it so um I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing about to write about but I did my best to take a metaphoric approach to it yeah Nasuki already told me about it she, she did she didn't say anything weird did she she just wanted us to write about the same topic again I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or the thought process anyway it was her idea knowing her it's no surprise that she will want to to do something like that she probably just wants to show off it's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style I just went with her request but well I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion it could be refreshing you know it's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while yeah I agree thanks for sharing Last but not least, Monica. Hi, Brian. So, have you thought about what you want to s submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some, some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poem and Sari poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've always been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year but since I joined the club we've been spending a lot of time together again I see I see that reminds me about how Sardi's been a little off today yeah did she tell you something uh, well right now so you haven't been funny with her have you uh, of course not I've been treating her like I always do all right just making sure I know how much you care about her it would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Saturday's been acting so much happier even since you just since she joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This is really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh alright. Okay. A lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of an old lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, a meaning, a purpose, and all that was ever sought. And I am here, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with a little hope knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the, in the twilight sky. Or the, I don't know. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her, her gaze. A lady who knows everything, who knows what I'm thinking. Before I could speak, she responds in a hollow voice. Have, I have found every answer, all which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. 
you know I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning not not to get too phys philosophical or anything but it was kind of on my mind so that what I wrote about I see I never really put much thought into it in a way it's almost paradoxical because if we all had all the answers wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning you know there's one thing I noticed it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy <laughs> are you surprised I mean if everyone everything was okay we wouldn't really have anything to write about would we humans are two dimensional creatures I think you know then you know I think you know that better than anyone else you mean one dimensional uh yeah that anyway here's Monica's writing tip of the day are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good it could be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much in so much into but if you find other people who enjoy writing then sharing becomes a lot easier because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad they want to focus more on everything that went into it and things that you worked on it's much more encouraging the, that way and it will make you want to continue improving it's almost like having your own little literature club don't you think that's my ad advice for the day for today thanks for listening okay you three we're all done sharing our poems right now we start figuring out hold on a second is it just me or did you say something strange just now huh something did sound a bit unusual that's right you devised from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club C -c -c catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase jeez why is the moose so weird today look even Yuri is immune to it uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen in your books maybe look the only thing different is that Sarity isn't here oh it seems you're right Sarity always helps lighten the mood a little bit doesn't she it's almost like everyone everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around where the heck did she run off to anyway I thought she w just went to pee Asuki please show some density oh come on uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early is that so I hope she's alright seriously of all of all the times to not go home with her you picked the time she's not feeling well so much for you two being a lovey-dovey uh, no first of all stop misunderstanding my friendship with already and second she's kind of been avoiding me today so I didn't want to force it oh that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people calm down guys I talked to her early and everything is fine what is she saying anyway we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation so Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Did she just ignore me? Okay. I see. Okay. That's right. Nasuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Nasuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sardi will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're just the most talented person here, you know? Now, Nasuki's pounding too. Jeez, even I can't tell now. I guess I never gave Sardi enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. <sighs> that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make the banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. The atmosphere. Um, about that, I, I love the atmosphere. 
Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wo a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Brenna, so the one who truly, who is truly useless. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would be, it would probably go a long way if you give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be very, really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Nasuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Nasuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Brian also may not like to be around if you only make him out of the out being a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Barnasa too. W what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Barnasa to decide how he would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really got the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though, geez, can we all just settle this already? Yeah. Brian also, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going with. <sighs> Don't give me these decisions! Ah! You know what? I, I'm putting Saori, cause I don't know. I don't know who to choose. Then I don't know. Is this the right choice? I'm just gonna do it. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, I prefer helping Saori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and what Monica said, Monica said that Saori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. No, I still have to choose. No. Why are you doing this to me? Just think of the club, okay? Okay. Let's look at this from a side. I don't think I'm going to choose Monica. I think that's for sure. I'm not going to choose Monica. So it's either Nasuki or Yuri. Last time I did pick Yuri by her being right, so that gives a plus to me picking Asuki. I'm going to go with Asuki, but then she said that she doesn't need help with baking. I'm going with Asuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could be probably used to people. Don't worry, baking is tons of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh, just a minute ago, you were just saying that. That's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Damn, that makes me feel bad. <sighs> That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Any Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Brian? So me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how we'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Oh crap! Nasuki starts pounding too. It's not. I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little unappreciated in general. 
having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help that doesn't mean Ugh, Nasuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression look Nasuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulder Yuri you really are the most talented one here and and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming I mean the cupcakes will probably help a lot too but you're gonna make the atmosphere special. That'll be very that'll be important for the, the way that people feel during the performance. And so, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Nasuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? No, not really. But Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back aback by Nasuki's words. Nasuki, of all the people to be saying such encouraging things, but I begin to understand, Nasuki was trying to sound like Saori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Saori will say at this time, like this. But Saori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us going to make it a really great event. Yeah, yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best, but with that, there is nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up things and starts to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, where are you going, huh? We still need to figure out our plans for the week this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have to a week to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that stood my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Asuka gives me her number. Okay, I'm, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything my, when my dad is home. Anyway, I need to just complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need is from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah? I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh. Did, didn't did you say that you were gonna going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone else. That, that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That, that's all it is, so. Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyways, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. <sighs> Never mind. I can't believe this. Nasuki is coming over to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Saori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Saori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. Okay. I'm ended here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea how long I recorded for, but I think it was a good while. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. I love you all.